Hey there, Julian from Memberstack here. And in this video, I want to show you the easiest way to add authentication and payments to your WISD app, which is using Memberstack. So first thing that I want to talk about a little bit is why you should use the two together, what they are, what the differences are. And then I want to talk about actually how you can do it. And there are two different ways to add Memberstack to your WISD app. We'll get to that when the time comes, but... First things first, I want to explain what is Memberstack and what is WISD. So if you remember anything from this, let it be that Memberstack is the brain of your business and WISD is the brain of your app. And not every single project needs to use both. Maybe it only needs Memberstack. Maybe it only needs WISD. But if you're building a SaaS, if you're building a business which is powered by your WISD app, this is possibly the most powerful combination that you can use because Memberstack is made to allow authentication and payments on your site. And that is all we focused on. We have made it extremely easy for you to set everything up and extremely powerful for you to manage your members. And the thing is with Memberstack, all of these features are things that the majority of online businesses have. And it's stuff that you're going to need to build out in WISD, regardless of whether or not you're using Memberstack. So the good thing here is that all of this stuff, which is going to be a headache for you to build custom, Memberstack has right out of the box. Now to talk about WISD a little bit. Like I said, WISD is the brain of your app. It allows you to bring in data and send data out to external sources, manipulate that data, all right there within your front end. And Using the two together is super, super powerful. You get all of the basics and all the stuff you need to have set up and you need to have running properly through Memberstack and all of that special touch that you're adding through your WISD app. So now it's time to talk about how you actually use the two together. So first things first, what I'm gonna show you is over here, we have a demo project within Webflow and we can see there's two signup forms. That is because, like I said, there are two different ways to use Memberstack and WISD together. And most likely, you are going to decide which way depending on what you're more used to. If you're more used to Memberstack, you're probably going to do the first option. If you're more used to WISD, you're probably going to do the second option. So now let's talk about what that first option is. And that is directly installing Memberstack on your Webflow site and then using it in WISD when you need to. So what we can see here, for example, is a signup form. And this does not have WISD attributes or anything like that. We simply installed Memberstack on our Webflow site by adding that custom code right up here. And then we added attributes, which is all done through Memberstack. We have a whole bunch of videos explaining what these are, how to get them, how to set up plans, so on and so forth. Um, but as you can see, data MS form sign up, we have a plan attribute, we have attributes here for the inputs, the email and the password, and that is it. So once you do that, you now have a working sign up form. And just to show you how that works in WISD, here we are, and let's go ahead and just go ahead and create an account. So let's make a new one with some info. And as you can see here, we are now signed in. So I'm gonna have to refresh this so that it shows the correct page. And then what we'll see is that I have a request set up called get current member right here. And that is getting all of the data about the member. Even though we've signed up directly through member stack on the Webflow site, WISD and the new built-in integration allows you to get all of this data right here. And you can use this in WISD however you want. You can use this, for example, the member ID to update certain rows in your database which are linked to that member. You can use that member's custom fields. You can do all sorts of things. And the good thing about this is that, as you can see, it is extremely simple. Just a few attributes and you have everything that you need already set up. As you can see as well, now that user's fields are being pre-filled directly into this form. And that's just one example. But the point here is that if you're doing it directly through WISD, then these are all individual things that you need to set up. The benefit of using Memberstack in this way is that everything is done for you right out of the box. And then you don't need to worry about all of this. You can just focus on the really cool stuff that actually makes your web app 
good that actually makes it so people want to buy it instead of focusing on things like payments like logins like signups you have everything that you need right here so with that being said the next way to do it is directly through Wiz, and this is something that the good thing about it is all the data lives right there within Wiz, which is quite nice and if you're used to building web apps with Wiz, you might prefer this method quite a bit so what we have here is our other form and if we go into webflow what we're going to see is that this does not have member stack attributes it has Wiz attributes so we have all of the WISD attributes that we need right here. And then in WISD, we've added an app with our member stack public key right here, which just to show you, you get that from DevTools in member stack. Simply add that and you are good to go. And then within WISD, you would set this up just as you set up standard actions and requests in WISD. So if I want to go ahead right here and make a sign up request, let's go ahead and do sign up. Whoops, don't need that squiggly bracket. Select member stack as your app and then find sign up. Not provider, that is for social auth. There we, eh, there we go. Sign up, email and password. So just like this, you're gonna wanna do return and then you're gonna wanna get the value of email just like that, which is currently nothing. And then password, you're gonna to wanna to get the value of password. So again, return and get password, custom fields if you have them, and then plans as well. Let's go ahead and add this right here. We need our plan ID, which we're gonna go ahead and get from member stack just over here. Back into WISD. Whoops, paste that right in there. And there we go. And now we're gonna to wanna to set up an action to make this work. So let's go ahead and do new action and do sign up. Type is element, attribute is form. On event, on submit. So when this form is submitted, let's go ahead and click prevent default, perform request, sign up just like that so now that we have that this should work as well so if we go into member stack and look at our members we can see right here this julian at memberstack.com and there should be a new one as well there we go so now let's do julian zero and let's sign up for that one through whiz so right over here let's do julian zero at oops Stack.com passwords random stuff so then if we click sign up right there then our member should be signed up so as we can see right there they're there with the plan added and if you're doing this method you don't actually need to have the member stack script on your site only if you're using it for let's say comments or something like that but in this way it is all handled directly through WISD. now with this there is a bit of a double-edged sword and what i mean by that is as you can see i clicked sign up right there and nothing happened because i didn't define anything so that is good in the sense that you get very very strong control if you're used to building web apps within WISD, then that does not scare you at all that actually excites you because what do you want to do next that is up to you where do you want to redirect them what flow should they go in it's all up to you but if you're using it directly through member stack, then you actually would set your signup redirects just like that on the plans page as you always would right there, which makes it super easy. So these are the two ways to use member stack with WISD. As you can see, it is super easy and it is super powerful as well. We're gonna be making a whole bunch of videos on very specific things, gating content with member stack and WISD, you name it. We're going to make it. But for now, I hope this teaches you all of the basics and everything you need to know to use the two together. I'll talk to you soon and have a great day.